because because of many things. Because the most beautiful thing that happened in my career is to be able to sing in non-francophone countries and represent a part of francophonie. And uh, also because here in Armenia, I came here uh, years ago, and it's one of my most beautiful surprise ever. I was so impressed by the beauty of Yerevan and the people, and uh, so I'm very glad to come back. The whole team, my musicians, my technicians, they're super happy. Uh, we just finished um, touring in France now, and uh, we're gonna go back to our Canada after Yerevan, but it's uh, what a great way to finish the tour for this portion. So uh, we're very glad we're having a concert that's uh, kind of different than what we were supposed to be because of that pandemic that changed pretty much everybody, I think. And uh, I've been uh, working a lot with my musicians in an old barn that I renovated. And we've been having a sound that's very more folk uh, than what I usually do, but which is great because the, the people seem to like it. And, uh, and in this concert, we were already doing a lot of uh, very French classics. So my, my songs have been transformed, but I did transform some of the classics like uh, Jacques Brel, uh, Georges Brassens, uh, Léo Ferré, Michel Legrand, and of course, the great Charles Aznavour. So, uh, can't wait to do the concert for you. Thank you so much. I am very happy to be here. 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 I Եվ ողջ դիմն է շատ ոգևորված եւ շատ երջանիկ են եւ ծրագիրը որ ներկայացնելու են այստեղ նախկին համերներից փոփոխված է որոշակի մշակումներ են եղել եւ իրեն երկերի եւ այնտեղ կա ժողովրդական էլեմենտ եւ դա զուտ ֆրանսիական դասական ժանրն է որտեղ մեծերի անունները հնչեցին լեկրանի ազնավուրի եւ եւս երեք ֆրանսիացի հեղինակների ոգևորվածությունը շատ մեծ է իրենց կողմից եւ ինչի համար շատ երջանիկ են եւ շնորհակալ են we are very happy and grateful I forgot one thing in my introduction. Uh, something very important. Uh, my name is Pierre Garin, my real name. Mm -hmm. And uh, my name is unfortunately not uh, Garanian because uh, a lot of people thought that I was Armenian in some way. I tried to do my research and figure out how this happened. <clears throat> Maybe we are connected in some way, but I'm, uh, yeah, I'm from Quebec, Canada. And I'm a, mainly a citizen of uh, the earth, like you probably are, I guess. And uh, so that's it. I have no real connection apart from connections from the heart uh, with family in Armenia. So uh, I wanted to be precise. <laughs> Ինչպես նսեցի ասեց ես այ ու գարան իմ ասկանն է գարանյան չէ եւ իմ միակ կապը հայաստանի հետ դա ողջ սրտով է դերևս չեն բացել այն արնակցական կապը որի մասին խոսվում է որպես իրականության չի համապատասխանում ցավոք դա ամբողջ սերը եւ նվիրում է հայաստանին բայց նման արնակցական կապ կարծես թե չկա դա ոչ of course, you said the reality about your origin. In Kazakhstan, you said the reality about your origin. But Armenians have a, have a habit. If they put something in their mind, they don't take it out anymore. It's all right. Yes, it's my heart's name. It would be, it, it's more not a question, but more suggestion, because in Wikipedia it's written like that about Armenian origin. So suggestion to remove that from Wikipedia because journalists are reading that and they feel sure, they feel confident. Don't always believe Wikipedia. <laughs> I'll start over. My name is Pia Garanian. <laughs> Another question, please. Armenia. Uh, I would like to know if you are going to have some uh, more Armenian musicians in your uh, during 
your concert, except Shalazar? Uh, I would love to know more, uh, because <coughs> it's the only the second time I come here. So I'm very happy and uh, lucky that we are going to spend some real time this time. And I'm going to be able to go around and see, meet with some people, Armenian. And so uh, that's very difficult when we do a lot of countries and we travel a lot to be able to really connect. Uh, and I like natural connections. So I, I have a hard time to organize uh, like sharing music like this because sometimes it gets awkward. So I prefer to be in the natural way of things. And hopefully it's going to happen. I'm going to meet some Armenian musicians. Angela Hambartsman, Armen Press, Lirat Vakan. Angela Hambartsman, Armen Press, Lirat Vakan, Gorta Kalitun. In the Takira, Hanrutan made Masa, Lanshojanaka, Zestiana Chet, Parisia, Vazamor, Tajar, Music Lum, Quasimodoin, Marna Voreluceto. Dukir Peve, Hokevor Cups, Gatselek, Gerpari Het, Yev, I saw Aran Chitunek, Helen Segarai, Cam Patrick Fury Het, Vorong, Mes Shat Harazate. Եվ հետաքրքիրը իր կարծիքը թե աշխարհակաղաքական նման զարգացումների ֆոնին երաժշտություն է արվեստը մշակույթը ինչ անելիք ունեն մարդկանց դրական հույզեր փոխանցելու ապրեցնելու համար շնորհակալություն Two questions the first question is uh, you started your career and uh, world famous uh, recognition from Notre Dame de Paris and the role you performed is it close to your heart do you have any spiritual connection with the with the I actually found a lot of connection. I found them, uh, meaning when uh, Luc Lamoureux, the, the writer of Notre Dame de Paris, saw me, I was playing in bars. I had a jazz band, a rock band. I was playing folk on my own. I had a, a rhythm and blues band. I was playing all different kinds of music, but always with a big smile and having fun with music. So when they proposed the role of, of Quasimodo, which is very a sad, introverted person, it, it seemed like it was the opposite of me. So it's kind of strange. But uh, right away I found some pain inside of me. I found some, some sadness, some wanting to be loved, and uh, because all artists want to be loved. And uh, so it, it really changed me a lot doing this role. And it was there a big paradox because I never wanted to be, to really be a popular star. That was not part of my plans. And, uh, but it happened at the same time that I was playing a role, trying to be loved, trying to get some attention, but everybody was scared of Cosimodo. And at the same time, I was going out in the street, trying to be normal. <laughs> And uh, people were jumping out. <laughs> so it was weird, a real paradox. So uh, probably have some some problems with that today. <laughs> <laughs> Եվ պիտի խաղարմի դեր, որը որ անընթատ սիրո եւ ուշադրության կարիք ունի եւ մարտիկ խոսափում են իրենից ճիշտ հակառակը։ Բայց այդ դեր իրեն փոխեց եւ նա սկսեց իրեն մեջ գտնել ինչ-որ եզրեր, որ ցանկացած արտիստ ավելի սիրվելու կարիք ունի եւ երբ որ փողոց էր դուրս գալիս ճիշտ հակառակն էր տեղի ունենում դերի մեջ բոլորը խոսափում էին իրանից, իսկ փողոցում բոլորը հարցակում իրեն վրա։ Ամեն դեպքում դա մեծ ազդեցություն է ունեցել իրեն վրա այդ դերը։ She had a second question. In this hard geopolitical situation, what is the role of arts to do something to change people's life? Do you see any uh, key? I think mainly, of course, there's a lot of responsibilities for an artist to, to be able to connect with people. I always believe that it was a dangerous path sometimes because a lot of artists will use that influence but without really knowing what they're talking about or it's not really their thing. I believe, because I know I'm stupid. <laughs>
I believe that my biggest part is to connect with the hearts of the people and, and to be able to give them the real weapons of life, which means be able to manage their emotions and whatever can happen in the world, be able to feel happy, to understand sadness, and to, I'm into emotions that I never wanted to play in the political, political side of, of things or even uh, be connect with, connected with some power that I would have because I would have influence on people. So I really believe, believe in the human being being able to understand itself and be able to manage with what's going on in, in the world. So almost a few. Ես կարծում եմ, որ մենք ունենք ուժ եւ իշխանություն մարդկանց սրտերի հետ խոսելու եւ ես կարծում եմ, որ այն արտիստները, որոնք դա օգտագործում են ինչ-որ կարծիքներ արտահայտելու համար, դա ճիշտ չէ։ Մեր գործը մարդկանց դխրության դեմ պայքարելն է, մարդկանց երջանկացները եւ իրենց սրտերի եւ փոքրու հետ ուղղակիորեն խոսելը միայն դրական է, միայն մարդկային է։ Եվ ճիշտ չէ, որ մարդիկ ներկայացնեն քաղաքական անցուդարձի մեջ եւ այդ ավելի իշխանություն ստանան եւ այլ ձևով դա օգտագործեն։ Կարծում եմ շատ ազնիվ տեսանկյուներ։ Բրավո։ Ասենք նրան բրավո է, ասում են ֆրանսերենը սիրո լեզուն է, ուզեի հասկանալ գավի համար հայերենը կողքից լսելով ինչի հետ They say uh, French is a love language and when you hear Armenian on for your air, uh, what kind of language is that? It is funny because I'm, I'm listening to Armenian now and I'm, I'm, I feel good. It's, it's, it's hard to say, but it feels good. It, it flows. And I think it's a really a beautiful language and I, I cannot understand musically what it does to you. But even to get back, yes, we say that French language is a very romantic and the language of love. It is because it's very poetic. But a lot of French people will believe that uh, French language is hard to sing because it doesn't flow as well as English will. But English doesn't have that poetry that, that French has. So I cannot understand enough of Armenian, but I can tell you the sound of it is beautiful. First of all, I would like to say that I'm so happy to see you here in Armenia and can't wait to be present at your concert. And I would like to ask you if it's possible to reveal some details regarding the program of the concert. With, with pleasure. The concert is really, uh, well, as I said, it's very folk, but it's, um, it's so natural. It's a concert that I wish I could play for 30 years, the same show. I know it will evolve. It's very uh, spontaneous because we were in that barn at, at my home where my studio is and uh, we started playing and recording and it seems like I never thought about the show, just did it while rehearsing. And that's the magic of this show because every night my musicians are amazing. Sometimes I go somewhere else, I do another song in the song and I come back and they will follow me like instantly. We're really connected. And uh, we, we, we changed the disposition uh, this time to come to Armenia because we were maybe we were kind of scared, I don't know. But what we just did in France these last weeks, uh, all the musicians were in front with me and we were looking at each other and just driving music and that's beautiful. So I think it's going to be a hybrid. I still don't know what I'm going to do this week, uh, but I will probably pre do pretty much the same because it's how I feel right now and I, I believe that uh, thinking too much uh, about a show and wanting to please people too much sometimes is dangerous. I prefer to we have fun and we're contagious in the right way of the word. Uh, 
Aynıymış mı? Ay sen kanvasları gibi ne kadarı göçel hekatayım, herşadi. Bana bu hatta da da sakın etpes sahmanlara batsume, yepyes yapalım da ne vakumey yapacağım ne kadar meyim kırneli hek. Ben muzksvet spontan kırpov, şart eder ki portarutun statsver. Yapdan mek verme kaysırakdi meç, yapyerajış nere neyim kırar, zgum kırar, yap pohum ek işvurban mek yer kitpius ne pohum. Aslında sami bana bari hikmet nevka, jogurta kan element, nevka azadıcın, nev bazapes niyasiz tezak oturuyor medzirk. I want to speak Armenian. Too bad I don't have a grandmother. Um, I'm happy to be here. Yes, Urakham bin el Aistar. Wow, yes, Ula Abdin. Yes, Urakham. Yes, Ula. Urakham. Ula M. Ula M. Ula M. Ula M. Inel Aistar. Inel Aistar. Aistar. Like this. Yes, Urakham. Linel Aistar. Yes, Urakham. Linel Aistar. Great. We have the power. Համավարատը շատ հոպեց մարդկանց, նրանց կյանքը պարտես պաժանեց մինչև համավարակը և համավարակից հետո շատ արվեստագետներ աշխարի խոստորաններ են, որ իրենք դեպրեսիայից միջև նա դուշ չեն ենք, միտապքեր ինչպես է նա հաղթահարը և ինչ է այդ այդ շրջանում կապ չունեն ալով հանդիսատեսի համեր դասրահների դաղիշները։ Հանդեմիկ չենչտ ավոր լայս եսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպեսպե